Online jurors can earn anywhere from $20 to $150 per case, with many cases paying around a dollar a minute of your time. In this video, I'm going to feature some sites where you can sign up to be an online juror and make extra money in your free time. Stay tuned. Now, the first website that I want to bring to you today where you can become a mock juror and work online is Online Verdict. Now, with Online Verdict, they were the first focus group in mock trial company that's dedicated to the legal industry. Its only purpose is to provide data-driven recommendations to litigators and mock jurors review cases, provide feedback, and get paid for their opinion. So to be a participant, you will be working remotely, or if you choose, you can go in person. You'll be reviewing real cases, providing feedback via surveys, watching presentations via Zoom, watching live presentations in person, providing feedback on iPad, deliberating as a group, participating in other online survey opportunities, and your typical pay is anywhere from $30 to $350. Now, participation is always optional. You do this at your convenience. Now, with Online Verdict, they provide services like participant recruiting, online case review surveys, virtual focus groups, mock trials, in-person focus groups, and mock trials, as well as jury consulting. Now to get started with online verdict, you'll complete the form that's linked right here. You'll add yourself to their database. Now you must be 18 years of age or older and a United States citizen. You must live in the venue in which the case is being tried. And when a case is posted in your area, they will send you an email notification. And if you are available, then you will complete the screener. Now, if you qualify after completing the screener and you match the demographics that they are looking for, then they will confirm your spot in the study. Once you complete the study, you will be paid based on the length of the study. Now here are benefits of being an online verdict participant. You'll be involved in intellectually stimulating opportunities to be a mock juror. You'll learn about all sorts of cases from personal injury to contract to employment. You'll earn additional money working from home. There's minimal prerequisites to qualify. You'll choose which cases that you want to review. There's no long-term commitment. Your contact information is secured and you'll be participating with reputable companies who have been paying jurors since 2004. So if you want to learn more about online verdict, you can definitely review their frequently asked questions. Now, uh, here's just a little bit more about what you can expect. So jurors who have completed their profile will receive the in email invitation after an attorney has posted a case in their venue. And if there are no cases posted in your area, you will not hear from online verdict. So it has to be in your area. So you do have the option to participate in a case by clicking on a link within the email. And if you do not wish to participate, then you simply ignore it and delete the invitation. Now, registered jurors have no obligation to review cases or to finish reviewing a case once they start. So you will only receive payment if you complete the study. So do be aware that if you start and you stop at some point, you will not be paid. So if you want to get payment, you definitely want to complete the study. And here's more information that you may want to learn about fees and payments. Is they actually only pay you via a check. So the only way that they pay jurors is by check sent through the mail. So there is no other form of payment. There's no Zelle, Venmo, or pay PayPal. Now, if the p post office does fail to deliver your check, only in certain circumstances, they will issue a payment outside of a check like Zelle, PayPal, Venmo. And typically your checks are mailed one to two weeks after you complete your case review. So that's online verdict. And you can check this one out. My suggestion would be to sign up for more than one of these outfits because you will only be receiving invita invitations intermittently. And so if you want to get the most out of making money doing this type of work online, it would be a uh, better if you signed up for at least two or three or maybe four, how many ever you choose. So let's move on now to the next opportunity to do mock jury online and get paid. 
Sign Up Direct is another option to work as a mock juror online, and you'll be serving as a surrogate juror or working on other research projects, helping to resolve legal cases or solving social problems. Now with this one, you'll be earning at least $100 or more for up to a day's work. You'll be working online or in person if randomly selected. So you'll get paid as an arbiter in a form of alternative dispute resolution in complex criminal and or civil cases by listening to attorneys in the cases presenting their arguments. You'll help people going to court understand how jurors will see their case and give them the information needed to resolve the dispute. So your participation is very valuable because the law is based on the common sense of citizens serving as jurors. So once you apply, you will be eligible if you're selected randomly for work on cases coming to trial in your area or other social research projects and events may involve either online or face-to-face -face groups. So with this one, it's a potential that you may have to go in person, but they do offer online opportunities as well. And it seems that they will pay you via Cash App because they do state here to download Cash App for immediate payment when you sign up with them. Now here's the link to sign up. Looks like they're just asking for typical information about you as a person, what type of work do you do? And once you complete that information, again, they will only send you invitation if you are in the particular demographic area where they are having this trial and they're looking for mock jurors. So you'll be working from home on Zoom, as you can see here, or you can possibly have to go into what's known as a jury lab. So I'm sure they will give you the option to decide which one you want to sign up for and make sure you only select the one online if that's all you're wanting to do is online. E-Jury is probably one of the more well-known online outfits that allows you to participate as a mock juror and they begin their operations in November of 1999 and since its inception E-Jury has quickly become one of the leaders in online mock juries and focus group research handling hundreds of cases for attorneys across the Southwest and now serving attorneys nationwide. So with eJury, they uh, provide attorneys the opportunity, just like the others that we've already talked about, to pre-try a case before it goes to trial in front of an actual jury at the courthouse. So cases at the courthouse are usually tried to juries of 12 people. And at e-jury, each case is tried to a minimum of 50 people. Now this provides the attorney with a tremendous amount of feedback, which he or she will use to establish a settlement value to find strengths and weaknesses in the evidence, learning public attitudes and improving jury selection, as well as discovering the most effective arguments. So the typical e-jury case works like this. So step one is the attorney prepares the case submission, which consists of facts from the perspectives of each party, the jury questions, which would be used at trial and personal questions designed to obtain additional feedback. Step two, e-jury converts the attorney's case submission into an HTML format and posts it to a secure location on their website where only e-jurors in the country, excuse me, in the county of selection can access the case. And then e-jurors in that county are then notified by email that a new case has been posted. Step three, the e-jurors return to the website. They log in and begin reviewing the facts and answering the questions, each clicking a submit verdict button upon completion. So once the minimum number of verdicts have been rendered, usually about 50, the case automatically concludes. A case summary is posted later for those interested in seeing the results. So qualifications for service as an e-juror are much the same as the requirements for actual jury service in the U.S. So you must be at least 18 years of age. You must be a citizen of the United States, be of sound mind and good moral character, 
be able to read and write, have never been convicted of a felony, and not be under indictment or other legal accusation of misdemeanor, theft, or fel felony theft, or any other felony charge. So in addition to the e-jury qualifications, e-jury has uh, several special qualifications which are set forth in an oath which new e-jurors complete during their sign-up process. So these special qualifications require that each e-juror must not be an actively practicing attorney, paralegal or legal assistant. You must not be employed by or associated with any attorney or law firm. You cannot be related to a practicing attorney within the first degree of affinity, marriage, or within second degree of uh, blood relative and not be employed as an insurance adjuster nor associated with the adjusting of liability claims. So you can pass all of that, then you will qualify to be a mock juror for E jury. So for each verdict rendered, E jurors pays are paid five dollars to ten dollars depending on the length of the case. The amount to be paid will be shown at the top of each case. You certainly won't get rich serving as an e juror, but just one case a week would probably pay for your internet access. So payments are made via PayPal. With uh, If you don't have a PayPal account, you can sign up for a free account, and that's the only way that you will get paid, so you want to keep that in mind. Now, the time spent reviewing a case varies greatly depending on the length of the case and the individual e-juror. They ask e-jurors who completed a six-page case to respond with how long it took, and the answers averaged about 35 minutes. So keep that in mind uh, as far as your pay and everything. And this is another reason I stated that you should go ahead and sign up for more than one of these because some pay lower than others. So to get started, you can click right here in this link in their frequently asked questions, and it will take you directly to their sign up page. And uh, that's eJury if you're interested in signing up with them. And as long as you pass all of those requirements, then you can sign up with them as well to get started. GT Research is yet another option to make money online as a mock juror, and they have an easy to use platform that allows them to place you in a group of other participants to provide opinions to top legal professionals that are seeking invaluable insights, helping them to make the cases more understandable and to form winning strategies and arguments. So once you sign up, you can earn up to $150 per session with GT Research. So you'll be working from home. They use Zoom video platform to allow you to work from the comfort of your home on a date and time that fits your schedule. You get paid for your time and opinions. You're getting paid quickly, $150 per day for specialty demographics and $135 per day for standard groups. There's no experience required, no homework or preparation is required. You'll just show up, give your opinions and be yourself. So this one seems like you'll have to actually be on site. Now, GT Research was formed by Guy Thiessen as part of his Tulsa-based law firm, GT Law. He has 30 plus years of experience in the legal industry and has been conducting focus groups for over 25 years. So learning more about GT Research. Now, a focus group is a research method that involves a small group of people, usually about six to 10 people who are asked to discuss a particular topic. The group is led by a moderator who asks questions and helps to keep the discussion on track. So focus groups are often used to gather feedback on products and services, but GT Research uses them to gather valuable information about facts within a lawsuit that will either strengthen or weaken particular cases. So as far as the time that it would take, focus groups for GT research typically take about four to seven hours, but may be shorter or longer, depending on the amount of facts needed to be discussed. And oftentimes, there may be more than one case discussed in 
that time period. Now, again, as far as payment, a typical seven hour focus group pays up to $150 for specific demographics, such as if you live in a specific county, and then $135 for standard demographics and shorter, shorter sessions pay a minimum of $20 per hour. And you can choose to be paid by PayPal, Venmo, or check. So as far as the requirements to be a participant, the only requirements is that you understand English, you speak English clearly, and that you have reliable internet connection and a computer or tablet with a camera and microphone, and that you have a quiet and private location to participate. So obviously this uh, option allows you to do online work for these participation in the focus groups, which is similar to a mock jury. It's more so just in a different format. And so this one pays really, really well. So it's good to know that you can actually work from the comfort of your home. Now, when they receive a request for a focus group, they will search their database for participants that meet the criteria. And if you are selected, you will receive an email and telephone or text with a date and time for the focus group with the request that you'll have to reply to if you're interested and available. So if you're not available, then you just simply wait for the next invitation. Now, as far as your personal information, they provide that, uh, they want you to provide that information because they're using it for demographic data that helps them to place you in focus groups. They promise that they will not share your personal information. Here's their privacy policy. And as far as participating, they don't have any type of limits on how many times you can participate. The frequency of invitations to participate really just varies based upon your personal demographics. So if you're ready to get signed up, you can go ahead and click this link right here. Remember, this is one of the better paying options. Most of these seem to pay about $20 or more an hour. So, you know, the only one that I saw seemed to be a little bit lower in the pay thus far is eJury. So you can click this link to sign up with GT Research. Now, jury test is another option if you're looking to get paid as a mock juror and jury test gathers and analyzes jury reaction to case evidence, themes, arguments, and testimony. It replaces the guesswork regarding jury reaction with extensive information that's automatically tabulated and fully analyzed for risk assessment case valuation, settlement decisions, as well as trial and jury selection strategy. So for lawyers and litigation managers, jury tests helps litigants of all types, including the country's largest employers, insurers and health systems, helping them to identify case strengths and weaknesses, improving trial strategy and jury selection, and just leveraging better settlement outcomes. So to see how it works for uh, jurors when you sign up, you will be reviewing the lawyer's cases. A summons will come in the form of an email for you to review the lawyer's case. And with this, once you are registered with jury test networks, you're eligible to receive these online summons to review these cases. The case, the summons will come again in the form of an email, which will direct you to come to the jurytest.net homepage. You log in with your credentials. Once you do that, you'll be redirected to the case that has been selected for you. You'll play, uh, click play for the case. And this case will play through a real player app on multimedia player. Now, if you don't have it, you will have to download that because that's how you will be able to view the case. You'll see all of the exhibits and hear the lawyer's arguments and summary. You'll hear the lawyer tell you one side or two sides of the case, and they want you to just sit back and listen, jot down some notes. And you know, the case summaries can be short as five minutes or as long as 30 minutes. You'll be informed ahead of time and you can choose the length of the cases. Now, step two, within this process. Uh, step two is where you will uh, receive feed, be providing feedback. So once you have reviewed 
the attorney's case. They do want your feedback. So you will be giving them feedback on the case. And then step three is you're going to get paid. You'll be paid well for your time and how much really depends on the length of the case. So your overall payment does depend on that and the type of feedback that you provide. In some cases, the speed of the response, you will know how much you will be paid ahead of time and you can choose to accept or decline the case. The payments will range from $5 per case to $50 per case for more complicated and involved cases. So jury test is another option for you and you can register here. Right here is the link to register to be a juror. And there's just a few questions that they ask, just simple demographic information. And then you just have to agree to the terms and get registered right here. Okay, remote job seekers, those are the options that I have for you today to get paid as a mock juror. It's a great way to make extra money in your spare time. You have full flexibility. You are in control. You're able to sign up for the cases that you want to, some of them obviously paying higher than others. Now, I like to bring videos like this to you because it's always good to have multiple streams of income. So if you like videos like this and maybe even checking out my daily pay series, you can check those videos out as well. Or you can check my remote jobs lead playlist, which is always linked at the end of the video, as well as in my description box. Now I want to thank you so much for joining me today. If you're not already subscribed, go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you'd like. Make sure you click the notification bell and turn on all notifications. And I do thank you again for joining me. Give me a like on the video, share it out. And as always, and until next time, be blessed.